Welcome everybody. So happy to see you here for another video. And this is a special video. In this video, I will show you some self-regulation techniques for our nervous system. It's called the SOS exercises and were invented by Kati Bonet, a German therapist who specialized for educate people uh, with knowledge for the nervous system and also as an expert for trauma. So these SOS exercises are called somatic orientated safety. By giving you back orientation, you will find also again a safe place in yourself so that harmony and balance in your system can take place. It's useful, of course, you can imagine for in your daily life and as a preparation before you go into your meditation. Why do we need that? The daily life of ours these days are overflowing with stress and uh, things that are bringing our system in an imbalance. And because we are overflowed with them the whole day, we really need some tools, which by them we can regulate our nervous system. So if you think about meditation, if you have run all the day and have more or less no pause, if you sit down and want to meditate, it's not working. So this tool of this SOS exercises brings your system in such a balance that when you go then into your meditation, many stresses will already be washed away so that it's much, much easier to start with your meditation. For example, these techniques, which are meant for, in first place, the autonomic nervous system, which we have no inf influence on it. But with these tools, we can give a starter, we can uh, give some means from the outside and with this impulse that we give the system the system can adjust and and get in more in a more balanced state so it affects this uh, techniques affect affecting your thoughts your feelings and emotions your movements inside and outside. It affects the way you feel connected to things outside or things inside you. And it affects how you are aware of your senses. And by getting more aware of all these things, you get a good preparation in first place, then 
when you go into the meditation. So the awareness has to take place first and then we can turn, swap around in what we want to uh, have in our meditation. So this is a brief uh, introduction for this uh, exos SOS exercises, just to give you uh, a picture of it. Of course, when you will rewatch this video, you can skip this introduction and go straight to the exercises which will now follow. The exercises are of 10, ten parts and we will start with the butterfly touch. Put our arms like here and we start tapping ourselves. You can adjust, you can do it slower or faster, more intense or less, just like you feel comfortable with it. And maybe a deep breath is coming already. That's very nice. And if not, it's also okay. Just observe what's happening. Okay, then we'll make a little pause. Every part of this exercise, you adjust them like you feel that it's comforting you. And if any of this exercise parts are not comfort, comforting you at all, you can also skip one. Very important, don't force yourself to do anything. If it feels comfortable, it's good. And if not, you can skip it. So for the next one, we put one hand here, the other one on our arm or shoulder. You can also change the sides or just put your arms on the shoulder. Observe what, what comforts you. And then stay with this. It's hugging yourself. Being kind to yourself. Giving yourself a shelter. And everything is okay. If you don't feel like doing that, you can adjust. And just observe. So for the next one, we will take a, a look through the room we are sitting in. And by turning our head slowly, we count things, like counting everything that is around or counting everything that is green or vertical lines. The important thing is that we turn our head slowly and that we count in something. So let's do that together. Of course, you count silently for yourself, turning your head slowly and count. Oh. 
Okay, and then we make a little pause. In this pause, the nervous system is adjusting. So it's very important to give time. Maybe a deep breath is coming. It's a good sign of relaxation. Okay, for the next one, try to breathe out as long as you can. Do it smoothly or with more intense. Try it out. Let's do it together. One more time. And maybe this happens. This is also a very good, good sign of uh, that some tension moves away from the body. And we make a little pause. Can put your arms into your lap. Yes, this is a very good sign. Just be with it. What happens? Observe. Okay, for the next one. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you like it. <laughs> Test it out. We wrap our ears from here to the upper part. Oh yeah, this is good. <laughs> we will get red ears, all of us, but that's fine. That's very good. <laughs> and you can go also inside your ear and stretch that out. Both sides. Stretch it out. Okay, and then we make a little pause. This part is uh, also good for to wake up, maybe in the morning, and of course to be more uh, more present uh, before going into meditation. So the next one, it's called the centered butterfly. It's the, the small version of the first, first part of these exercises. So you put your hands like this, crossing your fingers, stretch your tip fingers like so, and then start to crossing your thumbs. You can relax your arms here, and then start crossing. Wow, it seems that got a good relaxation. And then we make a pause. And once again, crossing your fingers, stretching the tip fingers, and crossing your thumbs. And then make a little pause. In this pause you can take a retrospective look. How you felt in the beginning and how it's now. What about your thoughts? 
and your movements inside, outside. What about your feelings and emotions? What about your senses? Do you feel cold or warm? How about your feeling of being connected to something or someone or to yourself? So for the next one, we put our thumbs like that, stretching our fingers. And then with one hand, we grab our thumb, stretch the tip finger and grab with the other hand, the tip finger. So when you now start to breathe out, you squeeze one finger. And when you breathe in, you squeeze the other finger. finger. So, uh, can put your arms here and then start this one. Breathe naturally, like it comes and goes. Don't do anything extra. Observe it with your awareness. And make a little pause. All this, what we are doing, have an impact on to our brain, which is a part of the autonomic nervous system. Once again, your thumbs like this, catch one thumb, stretch your tip finger, catch the finger, start breathing out, squeeze one side, breathing in, squeeze the other side. Just observe and get aware of it. Of every breath, of every touch. And make a pause. Let the system adjust. Maybe a deep breath is coming. That's wonderful. Good sign of relaxation. Now put one hand on your heart and one hand on your forehead. Now here you can close your eyes if you want, if, if, if it feels comfortable for you, but you can leave them also open. So and now I want to invite you to observe that between your hands, there's a space. A space where things are happening. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat. Or how your breast is moving upwards, downwards every breath that you take. Now you can put the hand from the forehead onto your belly. And here is the same thing. Just observe that 
there's a, there's a space between your hands where things are happening. Maybe you got a rumbling, which now it would be also a good sign of relaxation. Just stay with it, be with it, and observe. And now I want to invite you to take a deep breath and observe one deep breath. How you breathe in, maybe through the nose, and how you breathe out. One deep breath. Try to be full aware of this breath. How the air is flowing in. Through your nose. And then how you breathe out and the whole body And maybe now there is a place on your body which needs to be touched, which needs your, that uh, hand of yours goes there. Maybe there's a place. Stay with it. And maybe this place will start telling you something. You can say hello. For the last part of this SOS exercises, you can leave your hands like they are, or you can put them in your lap, how it feels comfortable for you. And in this last part, we now imagine some loving being, it can be person, human being, it can be a higher being, can be our master, it can be an animal, it can be you, much more stronger <laughs> and bigger. Imagine what comforts you, what will give you the most of support right now. And be with it. Be with it for some moment and enjoy. Enjoy the support. Maybe a hug. Maybe some kind words. Maybe just the presence. Everything is okay. So with this, these exercises, SOS exercises, are coming to its end. And now at that moment, 
you might feel that you are well preparated for going to meditation. And maybe you also can feel that if you do this on a regular basis, every day, that it really benefits, that you will really benefit of it in every aspect. So, with the grace of my master, I really hope that you can find some help in it. Thank you and goodbye.